Well, good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Model Kit Beginner. Today we have a look at uh, something rather unusual. It's the McLaren M8B. It apparently is a highly detailed 124 plastic model kit. It's a Can-Am racer of Lothar Motschenbacher, and uh, it is from Accurate Miniatures. What do we have on the box? We have uh, the kit features in uh, English and French. We have just a normal identifier on the sides. Then we have in different languages about the car itself. As you can see, it's in American, French, German, Italian, and Spanish. And at the back, we get an idea what they more or less should look like once you are done, which is very interesting. And I think uh, it's time to whip over to, to Scalemates quickly and have a look what they have to say about it. Right, now, Scalemates give us an idea that this is a repop from 1998. It's a 1998 rebox from the McLaren 81B. And... Uh, the product timeline tells us that 1998 was apparently the only time this uh, McLaren 8B was done. And uh, in three different uh, liveries, here we go, and they are the, uh, here we go, instruction sheet, yeah, it is quite an instruction sheet. And, and there you are, this is uh, the McLaren 8B. Now miniature, uh, accurate miniatures always have very interesting kits and I'm sure this one will be no exception. So let's have a look what is in that box. If we can get the lid off. Bear with me, bear with me, bear with me, bear. Come here we go, we made it. Right, now. There's a lot of rubber parts. We'll have a look at them right now. There's quite a bit of white plastic over here. Have a look at that as well. Just bump the microphone, hopefully it didn't sound too bad in your ears. We have a, oh, we have a second uh, bottom, a secret compartment. Look at this. Yeah. Don't get that everywhere. We have tires. We have some glass. We have decals. And we have an instruction sheet. And as we always do, we start out with that one. Well, this one is a folding up instruction sheet. Gives you all the ideas how to build a kit and uh, gives you a bit of the history as well and then we start with the engine and as you can see already it's rather detailed it's uh, yeah it uh, should give you lots of ideas how to build. have a look at this right it gives you a paint instructions on every on every step i would assume it gives you a note on vinyl parts because there are vinyl parts and over over here it gives you written instructions over the uh, how to get everything together. I mean, they are fantastic instructions. And then it gives you a little bit of history about the engine. I think it was a 7.7 liter. 7 liter, okay. Yeah, then later on they had a 7.8 liter as well. Chevy engines. And this is what you will be building here. So it still gives you all the details over here. Again, it gives you the paint instructions right over here. And then uh, uh, written instructions. I think that's quite something. That is quite something. So, all right, I'm not going to repeat this now on every page, but uh, yeah, it gives you an idea what it does. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I think that's quite nice. Love that. Real details. We are still on the engine, step four. Still on the engine. Step six, step seven, still in the engine. Now we move uh, away from the engine and we start at step eight with the top assembly right over here. Again, the paint instructions, couple of written instructions. Not that difficult. That seems to be a more of an easier part of the top instructions. 
top assembly. Then we go to radiator hoses, so from the front radiator, the hose to the to the uh, engine block. Right, find that right over here. That's quite something. A radiator inlet and outlet lines. Yeah, yeah, it, it certainly does some detail. We are already at step 10. Step 12 is the interior panel. Step 13 is the top top. Step 14 is top top to top. <laughs> Step 15 is front suspension. Step 16 is front brakes and hubs. That's its own step. Um, step 17 is top details. I mean, look at the look at the brakes just quickly. For very nice. I think it's very nice. Then uh, step 17 is the top details. Then dash top details. Is step 18. Step 19 is rear plumbing. More engine. Uh, roll bar assembly, it's not just a roll bar, it's a roll bar assembly because it has the uh, side radiators as well. Then a uh, roll bar attachment, body panels, we are now at step 23 with the wheels. We have the wheel assemblies as step 24, step 25 is the seat belts, we'll have a look how they look like now, just now. Then we have the seat installation. Not just a seat, it will be installed. We have uh, wing supports, that is its own step. And then we have the rear body panel installation. And then we go on with the wing, wing installation as well. Obviously, that's right over there. And then front body panel uh, door installation, which you can uh, do that they open, if that is what you want to do. And then the decal placement, which is not that difficult, it appears. And that is it. So we have 32 step instruction sheet. And uh, I've read it's not a particularly easy kit to assemble. But what I also read is that the instructions are very good. And you should be able to do it if you follow those. Well, that's fair enough. Right. Then, as we always do, Try to find a knife of some sort and open this up, which is the decal sheet. Let's do it. Open it up this way, shall we? Here we go. We have this. I'm not sure what it is. Piece of brown wax paper. All right. I'm sure we'll find out as we build it. Or if you know, let me know in the comment section. And then we have the decals. We have a, a couple of stripes here. Extra pinstripe. I love that. So they give you pinstriping and then they give you extra pinstriping just in case because they probably know it's a bloody pain to get those pinstripes on. So they give you another one, should you bugger your first one up. Then we have obviously the Moschenbacher number uh, and a couple of sponsor decals and dashboard decals over here. Right, these are the decals. No idea how good they are. Or no idea if they will still work. But at least they give you a double amount of pinstripes for it. Just in case. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> right, then let's have a look what we have here. We use glass maybe? I oh, know. Let's do the tires first, shall we? Well, some tires and other stuff first. Here we are. On this uh, sprue, tires are on a sprue and they have a bit of a seam in the middle, but they look very nice, don't they? They look like uh, intermediate racing tires, kind of. And they have Goodyear branding on them, so that's pretty cool. And they have the seat also in rubber. It seems to be rather out of form. I probably need some cleanup on this side, or maybe it, it stalls like that. Anyway, the seat is also out of vinyl. Find it right over here. So you have a vinyl seat. Very nice. Not very nice, at least very interesting. Right, let's get that back into the package. 
Then we have the glass over here, which uh, I don't need to unpack. It's just, it's not much of glass. It's just a, the front windshield, if you want so. And then I would assume some rear lights there. And the dashboard appears to be, you can see here, appears to be out of transparent plastic. Now, we come to a very interesting part. And this is a vinyl spruce. Here you go. Let's unpack those. We have a kind of silver gray one, which has a couple of lines over here, a few lines I can see water hoses I think that's the water hoses from the front radiator to the back and that's all in vinyl which I think is pretty cool I really do so you can really detail your engine here and go nuts and why not and then we have the same in black which gives you some ignition uh, cables uh, some air hoses and and other small hoses and cables right over here which you can use to detail your engine i love it i really love it i think that is brilliant right and then we obviously have plastic probably 32 steps and the instruction sheet i would assume it's quite a bit of plastic and uh, it looks like i'm not wrong so, should you to one side and we start with this sprue first, which is uh, the engine. Here we are, engine, valve covers. That seems to be uh, drive axles, if you want so. Uh, that looks like a sway bar of sorts. Looks like we have three different roll bars not quite sure where we have those maybe for different i mean they make three different m8b's so maybe different drivers had different setups man he was uh Mochenbacher was a privateer he wasn't driving for mclaren he drove by himself here we go then we have uh this one seems to be the side covers the bottom engine cover right over here and uh, some of the front parts uh, and some, I'm not quite sure what these are maybe lines I don't know right the next one would be uh, the wheels and here they are they don't look anything special there's the wing right over there and some smaller parts and some additional valve covers well here we go who knows then the next bag of white plastic let's open this up yeah. is the following couple of stabilizers and parts here's the steering wheel by the way this appeared to be the uh, intakes right over here for the carburetors the air was a lot cleaner in 1970 of course so there's no air filter there seems to be a pressure tank of sorts and there are the side radiators and front radiator is right over here right and uh, some part of the front and here is the uh, spring shock assembly right over here there you go then we have uh, I would assume it's exhausts right over here exhaust assembly and uh, some other Parts. I mean that seems to be inside somewhere so yeah it will be an interesting build 
it will be a very interesting build. And last but certainly not least, let's have a look at the body, which obviously comes in a several parts, but they have put it all on one screw, which is very nice of them. Here is a uh, rear part, side covers, front part. And it needs some work, like they all do, it needs a bit of sanding, but nothing impossible. That looks pretty authentic, I would say. Very nice, very nice. And that was it, ladies and gentlemen. Wasn't that complicated, wasn't that bad? That was the very interesting kit from Accurate Miniatures, which is the McLaren M8B. Highly detailed plastic model kit. Here we are. Let's just zoom out a bit again. There you have it. And uh, with all these vinyl parts, it looks a very interesting kit. It really does. I mean, uh, looking forward to building this uh, at a future stage. And uh, how about you? You have one of those? Have you built one of those before? Can you give us a bit more info? Please do so in the comment section. And thanks very much for watching and greetings from Cape Town. Cheers.